Hey guys. <laughs> I'm on a unicorn holding mechanical worms on top of a dirt battle arena that's being held up by I um demonite bricks and I have a wall of flesh mask on. <laughs> I mean tell me you haven't seen anything crazy than that. And I did get a really good weapon. It's a hell file. Bows so I can make the scalable. And this does 47 melee damage. Then take for the first hot chance. Fast speed and I will come off that. And we're waiting. They only appear at night when it's raining. They also get chopped in the middle of Right, so. I'm going to make it 7.30 for the end game time. That's when it's going to night time. For some reason I keep thinking this is a solo webcam because it looks kind of similar to it. But it's not. The solo webcam is really good. So I can't. <laughs> okay. Pretty much until I beat all of the mechanical bosses. The solo webcam is gotten from the Solo pillow for the lunar events. And that's very, very end game. Like that's pre moon though. Like post moon. So there's like six bosses. One includes the moon lord. The other one includes the celestial pillow. And the other one includes the ruins of Conquest. All of them have to do with the moon lord. So yeah, that, that's what we're going to be facing some of the items. I know, I'm probably going to make a video on that one. And I did change my settings so I could have this. You can see the little like, border thing. I used to have it, but then it's like, I can not lay on more. So it's almost night time, once it reaches 7.40 in game, then it should be good. My battle is right next to the Quap King as well. If the Quap King is safe, it's not going to get to my house, but it is going to get to the jungle. So I will need to protect my jungle. This fine picture has one day. It actually be one day. And I do have a guy who did on it. That is because I, I, I beat the water cook again. It was really easy with the CLO. Mm -hmm. And I got a laser rifle, but the laser rifle isn't actually too good. I have to do with my other camera 
And I actually already had some soldiers and I can heal. I don't need these two mushrooms. I don't need these mushrooms. I'm going to save an exit, and I am going to do nothing. I'm going to go to my other cave of door. I'm going to go to my other cave of door walls. And I'm gonna uh, put my potions in this chest. I'm gonna put them in here, I'm gonna put them in here, and I'm gonna put them in here. Oh yeah, the whole each potion as well. I'm gonna put all of them in there, I'm gonna save and exit. I used it before to get the enchanted boomerang. And then I am going to go in. I'm gonna go okay for that out thing. Which is this one. Go to my other pair of the wall. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that same chest. And then take those potions. Damage and then plus 17% mana cost, so it's not that good. But I just feel like I'm gonna need it. <laughs> like it's a hard mode weapon, so I couldn't get it like before, so it's gonna be really powerful. It's gonna be really useful now. I guess that is kind of cheating, but. I mean, I found them, and so I'm giving it to my other player. That's fair, right? Perfect. Now I can go in as this player. Go into this wall. I'm gonna go up against it. I'm gonna get my potions. We get away shit. Iron skin. Heal it. Oh. Get my helmet on. So I have way better than it. It needs so much better. Than it. But I can't feel anything, so I'm going to go over the next one so I can actually see. I 
can play the With last video, but <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna take that Nike bagel and be silly with it. Do you have a low mana now? I can't do the evil worlds, but I do have another world called Gold Grab, which does have the corruption. It is so satisfying that I can walk on water. I love these water walk boots. They're combined like a mi like with a million other things to get the to get something that allows you to walk on lava. Which is absolutely crazy, but you need a bunch of things to do that. And you also need the Tinkler's Workshop, which is only got me from the Goblin. Maybe the Goblin. So. So it is daytime now. I don't need to worry about that. I love how I can just walk on water. Is it do I take any fall damage when I fall on water? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, uh, the blue slime ruined my test. Uh, <laughs> Boots are pretty cool. The obsidian water walking boots I'm pretty sure are better. But, they, but these also allow you to walk on honey, which is useful for the queen bee. 
we need to break its lava to summon it. And, and the lava is found in a place that's full of honey, so. Yeah. After the jungle, there's the crimson. And there's an actually an achievement. He's going to the underworld and visit Not a person down. These kind of act like cat ones or if you down the underworld. I kind of things like the rainbow looks kind of looks really cool. I'm gonna do it all, and then I'm gonna take this water test and it looks cool. <laughs> get all the stuff that I didn't need from it. Now I have a water test, because they look really, really cool. I have like a rainbow thing on it. I don't know how that has to do with water, but okay. So we need vicious powder and water bread. Water bread. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. And I also need vicious power, so I need two things. So I need to gather the the mushrooms to make the vicious powder. So these, these are what I need. These these mushrooms are exactly what you need to do it. I won't be able to use my battle arena for the boy because you need to be in the crimson. And I don't feel like there's another battle arena for the crimson. And to gather up as much wood that way as possible. I need 15 Volte Bray and 40 of the Vicious Powder and one mushroom gives you 5 Vicious Powder. I don't know how much mushrooms I need. Um, two, three, And then I need six of the mushrooms, and I have two. This magic bag goes to my destroy them. Probably just because they're like a hard mode weapon. What day boy do I have now? Um, where is it? I have three. It's not very much. There we go. 
It doesn't look like they're going this way. Who knows what could be here? Could be an ocean, I don't know. It could be a crimson ocean. I haven't found one of those yet. So how crimson oceans in this? Oh, it looks like... I got more than enough. I can almost summon two. That's not what I'm gonna do. That would be it's pretty easy. So I don't know how tough the Blaine of Cthulhu is going to be, like, with this weapon. Because before when I faced it, I had, like, a really good weapon. I had the fire with great sword. How many do I have now? Seven. I need fifteen. Okay, so if I go I need to be at a crimson or demon auto to do it. Make it Do I actually have a mining helmet on? And do I? No, I don't. Strange. Thought I did. I guess I don't. I have nine. It's only taking me a while, isn't it? Well, okay. How many 
and they have no 14. Very close. Got enough. And I think I need to recover to get back. Oh, Cause I need to do this. To make this into vicious powder. There we go. So I'm actually gonna save and exit. The reason why I'm doing that is so I I can battle it in a different world because battling it in the other world looks like it's like it has like a more smoother terrain, so it should be a little bit easier. So that's so to make it, I'm gonna go to where is it? World, world 14. In this world, if I I keep going this way. I can actually find a crimson apple. Which is exactly what I need. I need 75. I probably need 45. If I keep going this way, then I should be able to find a crimson apple back here. Okay, that and I can make a bloody spine. I'm going to save and exit again, and then go to the other world. Where is it? 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 When I was in this, like, let me show you my house. I didn't have like crafting stations in it, but this is what I can show you my house. This is what my house looked like. I had all the banners, I had the internet, and stuff on top of it. I didn't even build a second floor, it's kind of crazy. If I keep going this way, I can actually find the crimson. Because you need to summon. We're gonna put something new in the crimson. Turn something in anywhere else, nothing happens. Put the two on the So here I am. Are you ready? The brain of Cthulhu has awoken. Okay, there's this creepers. I know I'm not talking about Minecraft. <laughs> So this is basically like a servant. Kinda like the servant of the new from the eye of the And he like shoots the keyboard out. He needs to attack the actual brain to do damage. Because attacking the keyboard literally does nothing but attacking the keyboard. The keyboard have like higher health than you would think. I think they, they had like almost no health, but no, they have quite a bit of health. Now, damage in the brain of the brain of Cthulhu right now does literally nothing, but once you do enough damage to it like this, if you damage it enough, it's like. It breaks open and then there's like a heart that you're meant to attack, which doesn't have too much health. It might have quite a bit. I don't know how much health it has. I need to be really careful with this because it's cool. It does crazy. It's doing crazy damage against me and I can't have a healing token yet. And yeah, I need to Okay, we're getting something out of it at least. Beat one of the creepers, so we did get something. Did the creepers do drop stuff? Also hearts, which is useful. 
everything that it did to all because you can make some pretty good stuff out of it. I need the chains. Now I'm just gonna need the mandibles. So you can get so you can get tissue samples and you can obtain ore from them. I still don't know why they're called tissue samples. But that's just real. Back to the world and see what we can craft. Back to the world. Back to the world. I haven't actually come across a rock and bowl bit in my in the world yet. Now I should be able to craft some. Pretty good stuff. If I, I make all these into bows, we should be able to make like armor and stuff out of it. There we go. The meatball. <laughs> is 10 and before it was 6 so that was a, a big improvement for defense so yep it wasn't able to beat the brain of Kulu but still that's the episode will be that to do this so we're progressing at least and it's about to turn into Probably because I'm like way too obsessed with Terraria now. He was talking about the way to do it. I've no idea how much dirt blocks sell for overseas. Yeah, probably like not any. I'm actually gonna gather up a dirt block and see. Sure. Make. I can get so many dot blocks. Yep. Yeah. 